So last week I read the introduction to Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species, and before I read the first official chapter of the book, I wanted to talk just a little bit about some of the things that I uh, found interesting um, about the introduction. I work in academia, and um, I was thinking about what Charles Darwin would have been like if he'd had an office down the hall. And um, my first thought is he wouldn't have had an office down the hall. Um, so after Darwin gets back from uh, his trip on the Beagle, he thinks he's got some data that could help us figure out some of the mystery around the origin of species. Um, and so instead of rushing to publish his idea or any of the data supporting that idea, he sits down, spreads everything out, and says, something might perhaps be made out on this question by patiently accumulating and reflecting on all sorts of facts which could possibly have any bearing on it. And then, after five years, he allowed himself to speculate on the subject. Darwin was very cautious, patient, slow. Um, I don't think he would have made it in the sort of publish or perish culture that we have now uh, in academia. Um, maybe in academia, we need to make a little more space for slowing down and thinking about big ideas. Um, not always doing hypothesis testing, but allowing ourselves to wonder and observe more. Darwin actually only published once it appeared that he would lose authorship of his idea to Wallace. So maybe the publisher parish model does have some benefits um, by using a little bit of ego to, to push us to get our work out uh, and not hoard it to ourselves until we're absolutely sure we're right. Um, because a lot of us in science are, you know, perfectionists. Um, but, I mean, maybe Darwin was too slow, but his very careful work uh, made sh sure that his very unorthodox ideas stood up to this just incredible slew of very angry attacks uh, from, you know, intellectuals and the clergy and people were really resistant to these ideas. And, but because Darwin had so carefully uh, marshaled the evidence and developed his arguments, uh, it was able to stand up um, to that test and perhaps be adopted faster than it would have had it been released piecemeal. I also want to comment on uh, how Darwin called the on the origin of species an abstract. Um, he refers to it as an abstract several times in the text and in uh, David Quammen's introduction he also says that Darwin tried to actually title it an abstract on the origin of species. His publisher thought that sounded too boring though, so they nixed that. Um, I don't know how many words exactly are in the origin of species, but it's a heck of a lot more than the 250 that uh, I'm allowed when I submit an abstract to a conference. But I do think that the use of the word abstract is appropriate here. Uh, whether Darwin knew it or not, um, Darwin really comes across as quite humble, um, a bit self-effacing, very willing to question himself uh, in, in his writing. But um, abstract, by calling on the origin of species an abstract, uh, it perhaps hints that he, he knew his idea was the genesis for entire new fields in biology. Um, in, in a way, On the Origin of Species is the abstract for evolutionary biology. Um, we spent the last 150-odd uh, years 
fleshing out the, the ideas, uh, the details, um, interrogating individual sentences in The Origin of Species. And there's still so much more that we have to learn. I don't know if Darwin meant abstract in this sense, but it really is an abstract for all of evolutionary biology. Um, and it's a long abstract because it's a big field. There's a lot we have left to find out. One of the reasons I'm so excited to read this book is because I think it will help me tie together a lot of aspects of evolutionary biology that I've already learned. And I think it will raise a lot of new questions that I've never thought about before. Um, and, and maybe help me see them in a new light since Darwin was the first person to see these. I'm going to see them in the original light, perhaps for the first time. So this week I'm going to be reading the first chapter of On the Origin of Species by Charles Darwin, uh, Variation Under Domestication, and I hope you will join me for that, or at least the wrap-up video afterwards.